Prince of Persia The Sands of Time is the most financially successful movie based on a video game, due in no small part to a strong cast, a huge marketing push from Studio Disney Pictures, and the fact that while it visually resembles the highly successful video game that it's based after, it's the sort of action-adventure film that appeals to pretty much anybody, not just fans of the game series. That being said, although the movie was successful, it did get mixed reviews, so I wasn't sure exactly what to expect. It really could have gone either way. Jake Gyllenhaal plays Dastan, who grew up as a street urchin and, for whatever reason, was adopted by the king, who raises him as a son, along with his two other sons, making him a prince of Persia. After successfully invading a holy city, the princes return home with the princess in tow, who has agreed to marry the eldest son as a peace offering. The eldest gives a holy robe to Dastan because he forgot to bring back a gift to his father, but when Dastan gives his father the robe, it poisons him, making it look like he assassinated his father. Dastan goes on the run with the princess, played by Gemma Arterton, who is an annoying bitch who is trying to protect a sacred dagger, which can rewind time. Believing the entire thing was a plot by his brother to get a hold of the dagger, Dastan risks everything to contact his trusted uncle Nizam, played by Ben Kingsley. But, of course, Nizam is the real bad guy, and shit just got worse. The dagger can only hold enough sacred sand to rewind time a few moments, but if you draw sand from the hourglass into it and use the dagger to rewind at the same time, you can rewind time indefinitely, which Nizam wants to use to erase the moment from his childhood where he saved his brother's life, thereby making him the king of Persia. The princess knows, however, that doing this can potentially unleash an apocalypse that can end the world. In the end, Nizam is somewhat successful, but the prince stops him from rewinding time completely, only setting it back to the beginning of the movie, where most of the events of the film can be prevented. It seems like a cop-out to reverse everything, but it's really about Dostin growing as a person as well, and making better decisions. The movie is highly entertaining, and filled with quite a lot of action, including the sort of insane acrobatics that you expect from Prince of Persia, and it has enough humor to keep things fun and lighthearted but not enough for the movie to become silly. The sort of double crosses and twists that the movie is full of are pretty transparent. You see them coming a mile away, but it doesn't take away from the movie too much. There's a feeling of familiarity, but not a feeling of repetition. One weird thing is that everyone seems to talk in English accents. I'm not sure why, but it does slightly take you out of the whole locale. Thankfully, this is made up for by the great sets and musical score. The acting is strong, particularly from Ben Kingsley and Jake Gyllenhaal, though Gemma Arterton comes off as annoying more often than not. And while I enjoyed the character of Sheikh Amar, played by Alfred Molina, I found him to be a bit overused. Prince of Persia is the type of movie that you've probably seen a dozen times before, but for what it does, it does it very well, and it's a reasonable facsimile of the Prince of Persia video games, or at least the Sands of Time series on which it's based. Overall, I liked it. It didn't really blow me away, but it was very enjoyable, and its flaws are not big enough to detract from the overall experience. I give Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, an 8 out of a possible 10.